Relaxed rhythms are his specialty. Sasha Stroschka, better known in Zarbrücken as DJ Curly Boo. He likes his sounds to be laid back and leisurely, like the city that is his home. I think Zarbrücken is really chilled. It's nice and small. You don't have to walk very far to get anywhere. You've got everything you need. There are loads of chilled out places in Saarbrücken, loads of great parties. For me, Saarbrücken is just like my music. One of the places he recommends for a visit is the Nauwieser district, one of the few areas of the city that wasn't destroyed in World War II. The Nauwieser district is one of the bolt holes in the center of Saarbrücken, a tiny district where you can just sit down and relax. When the sun's shining like today, it's great to be here. But if you've decided you only want to spend 10 minutes here, be warned, you could still be here a couple of hours later. That's one of the great things about this place. The narrow streets of the late 19th century district are perfect for strolling and there are lots of cafes. With all its little shops, the district really feels like a village within the city. The DJ likes to come here and meet his friends for a chat, especially after long and tiring nights at the turntables. I'm going to show you something now. It looks like an antique shop, but it's actually something very different. Die Winzer, or the Vintners, is Sasha's second tip. It's a place where you can buy antiques and works of art, but most people come to sample the wines on offer. It's a place that attracts artists and civil servants, bus drivers and entrepreneurs. Everyone is made to feel welcome here. All you need to bring along is a cheerful spirit and a love of wine. Taking care of the jolly atmosphere and keeping those glasses full is Wolfgang Rape. The French-German owner of Die Winzer built the shop up from nothing. He has a story to tell about each of the items for sale. He also has an anecdote or two to tell you about the wines, and he's a personal friend of almost all his suppliers. Here's Sasha's third recommendation, a former grain silo on an industrial estate. The owner has built up what I call an art silo with more or less no cash. People bring stuff along to help out, or they just generally help him get the projects off the ground. There are always artists working here. They make some really crazy things, and I like it. Because it isn't pretentious, and there's nothing else like it anywhere. The industrial ruin on the banks of a tributary of the River Tsar has been brought back to life. It now houses galleries, a movie theater, and studios. The space covers a total of nine floors, and you can watch artists at work as well as enjoy exhibitions, films, and video installations in an unusual setting. And on weekends here, you may spot Sasha Stroschka working the turntables. <laughs> 